as a kid, one of my first houses away from mom, not too far from here, um, with a group of, of kids that we all were graffiti together. And uh, when we found out that they were breaking ground on this stadium, that they were gonna move down here from Memorial, uh, we purposely came over here. And, and I still have that street sign, Hauser Street, uh, that's now center field. Um, and I've had a strong sense of connection to the street um, since first moving to Baltimore. I discovered my connection to my art and my craft and my voice there. Kind of sums up to a certain degree, like my own personal march back to this space, uh, part of where I've been my whole life. Just getting here, uh, even going through the initial walkthrough with the different departments that, that had a concern of what this piece of art was out to do, uh, in what ways it was gonna add to the stadium environment. There were some pretty open-ended questions. So a lot of where this ended up landing was in my own determination of what the similarities of the youthful side or the nature of, of graffiti art being a youth culture based art uh, held parallels to the game of baseball, you know, and, and trying to not just keep what I was going to do here visually sort of cut and dry to some, some basic rules of what we do and not taking it way outside of that schematic for the average viewer, but also purposely like mirroring uh, sort of the entertainment base that baseball holds in our lives with the art as well and purposely providing just that sort of like a backdrop of a nature of, of the entertainment of coming out to the ballpark and then here just being in this almost kind of created architectural alley that they have me painting um the chance to sort of expand the space into a zone that interacted with itself was sort of the the direct environmental challenge that it presented. You know. How graffiti art works, to some degree, uh, you've got some thoughts about what you set out to do and then the rest of what you actually accomplish happens through uh, some sort of identification with the environment. The environment sort of leads the way or, or dictates some of the direction that, that the piece is gonna go in. So baseball is obviously inherent important to most of the city dwellers and the young kids that come up in Baltimore come up on and with the Orioles from like knee high you know so graffiti has long since been the urban voice of youth and I think again the importance of kind of just embracing it that way and keeping it very trimmed down to the simple nature of, of that is what I hope people take away from this you know um, we tried to purposely create a way for people to extend themselves through the game and through the enjoyment of the environment and just coming down to the ballpark, which for a lot of people is as exciting as the baseball. You know, a lot of, I know a lot of people who are more about the community sense of coming down here to the ballpark than they are even, you know, what the score is or how the team is doing. So that's an important part of how we expand on that community talk. You know? Well, I mean, I think that there's an inherent sense of even responsibility on the part of uh, institutions like the Orioles as, a, as an institution, as a team. Any arrangement made with the creative arts as they have with this ongoing mural campaign in general is, is a real stretch outside of what your average athletic fan expects from the experience. So already there, you're hopefully turning the experience of just being a ticket holder into something educational or, or more fulfilling, especially for those people who maybe aren't urban dwellers, they don't live downtown, they are not seeing or experiencing in the same way as we have in the last few years of living in Baltimore, all the mural arts growth and creating a dialogue in the community of understanding and appreciation in a place that has for a long time been misunderstood and sort of so unavailable and so in the fringe that there weren't those inherent connecting bonds that are already here. You know, like I can't name really a Baltimore graffiti writer or a person in that community who's not also kind of a ball fan and who doesn't pay attention to some degree of like what's going on with the team or hasn't been down to the yard. So it's just inherently a part of being 
a city kid and being from around here. All right, y'all. Adam Stab here finalizing down at Camden Yards, Oriole Park. Uh, make it out to a game, come through, see the new installation. Stay on your good foot, stay up. Peace.